Hello. Right. Yeah, so my stuff is going to be depressing too. Yeah. Woo! About the immigrant story, you know that immigrants work their asses off to come to this country. But because of that, they're kind of like the one uppers of parenthood. So, like, if something, if you did something, there's always a worse story. So, there's this one time I was being teased in school mercilessly, right? They would say, uh, You're so dark that you leave fingerprints on charcoal. Mm. Oh, okay, this is why I need men in the audience to laugh. <laughs> as he was looking at me. And I'm like, oh wow, what's gonna happen next? He's like, did I take you to school to make friends or to learn? I said, like, oh, 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 oh. wow, okay. <laughs> and then he like one upped it with, with saying, I wish I could have gone to school for people to make fun of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, he actually had a private driver and he went to private school. So he was making it all up. <laughs> so you guys first period with my dad, so that's why this show is so appropriate. <laughs> so, uh, so, so we were, we went to the dollar the dollar store, right, the Dollar General. So we walked in and everything like that, and I'm feeling all these urges and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, Africans don't take sex ed, we don't do sex. So you just, you just appear. So like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Um, and I was like, oh my god, I think I'm becoming a woman. And my dad was like, huh? I said, I think I'm becoming a woman. And he was like, hey, today is the day you become a woman when you're with me. I don't know anything about this. So we're like surrounded by like period products, right? But I'm like, but my dad's like, come on, come on, let's go. So then we're rushing out. He's like, get two plastic bags. So I'm thinking, like, okay, my dad's got this, right? So it's like, it's going to be some like uh, African juju, some like, like, you know, some pasta thing that he's going to tell me, you know? So we get to the, we get to the car and it's like, he looks at me, I look at him, he looks at me, I look at him, and it's like a dear, dear God, this is me, Margaret moment. I'm like, he's going to explain being a woman, right? He's like, did you get the two plastic bags? I'm like, yes, daddy, I did. He's like, good, because I'm still paying for this car, so put those two plastic bags on the seat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But because of that, I think like I've gone totally left when it comes to dating. Like, I'm really optimistic. And so it's like, if you have a beard and you're tall, like, yes! You're mine. Like, that's all. Kind of like, so it's kind of like, you know, give me your poor, give me your tired, not your huddled masses because I'm not a freak. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm the Statue of Liberty when it comes to dating. <laughs> but, uh, so I went on this, like, this date. It was the worst date of my entire life. Like, but I was optimistic because I learned from this date, right? So we were supposed to meet at the harbor. He was 30 minutes late. But I was like, okay, there's traffic, that's why it's late. It's okay, okay. So I'm sitting at the bar, and I don't really drink, but I'm gonna lie about it until the third date, because we all lie, right? And you gotta hide some stuff. You know, it's the <laughs> jewels right there. So he comes to the bar, he sits down, he starts watching baseball, and doesn't really talk to me. But I'm like, okay, you know, like, and he's busy, all right? So I come, and he's like, cute, and I'm like, oh, do you like baseball? And he's like, nah, it's a stupid game. I'm like, okay, he's honest, all right. <laughs> food without asking me, and I'm like, well, he's assertive for himself, okay, and so then I'm just like, this, this seems like it might not be going so well, um, so then, like, I'm like, all right, so this guy, he might be a douche, right, so, but I, I'm still like, okay, do you have vacation, and he's like, who has time to vacation, like, after that, I'm just like, okay, this guy's weird, so then we get up, and I'm like, okay, do you want to walk around the harbor? And he's like, no, I'll walk you to your car. And I'm just like, fuck it, I'm done. Okay, so let's go to the car. So he drops me off, like he, he walks me to the parking lot, he goes his own way, and I'm in the car and he calls me, right? And I'm like, why is he calling me? And I'm thinking, like, maybe he's gonna call me to apologize, maybe it's gonna be like a romantic comedy, like he's gonna run up to me, like he starts running. I'm like, oh my god, it's a movie! He's, it's gonna be everything. And then I like, I roll down my window and he's like, Lyft doesn't pick me up from here. <laughs> I'm like Negro, what about Uber? <laughs> but because I'm Christian and I'm African and I'm confused about life and dating, like I still give him a ride. Oh. <laughs> so he gets in my car and he's driving. And I mean, and I'm driving. 
And like he doesn't even tell me where I'm going, so I'm kind of confused. He's like, I hate women drivers. Oh, and like, this, no. this fucker hates women drivers. I hate men who don't have cars. Like that's really <laughs> 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 Excuse me for the And so like I realized he didn't tell us where we we're going. So I'm like, so where where are we going? And he's like, well, since you're not trying to give me any play, like that's my accent of a guy. You're like, <laughs> like, okay. Anyways, he's like, you can drop me off here at this gas station. So it's like really raining a lot outside, and so like we get to the gas station, and he sees an umbrella in my car, and he's like, can you get this umbrella? I mean, he's like, can I get this umbrella? And I was like, no, but you can get these two bags. Oh! Oh!